What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'll be showing you something rather niche, but if you're looking for this video, then here's the answer for you. So, I've used Corsair's IQ in the past, but I don't use it too often. A friend of mine recently wanted to use IQ, and one of their special features, IQ Space. Simply right-clicking the icon on my start bar, and then clicking Show IQ Space, we have this nice little window over here that pops up. It contains some useful information, and at the very top you can toggle exactly what you see and what it does. It has some nice graphs, etc, etc, and it's really helpful if this is what you're looking for to display on your screen. Though, as you probably noticed, it shifted everything around and put a whole bunch of desktop icons on my screen. If I make something full screen here, you'll see it snaps to about here. That's the end of this window. If I simply drag and drop it to the side of my screen as such, it snaps once again to here. Really weird. And of course, this is dividing this section into halves rather than the center of my screen, which is about there. So it actually messes with your screen's display size and it's really weird. The one thing that we can't do with this is move it around. So if you're playing games on your main display and you have a second or even third display on the left or right, and you wanna put this IQ space on one of those, how exactly do you move it? Well, originally I thought of using something like auto hotkey, like this useful little script I created here that centers programs. If I simply hit the keybind with IQ selected, you can see it moves, great. But if I go ahead and drag a box out on my desktop, you'll see that eventually it just cuts off when it reaches this section over here. Programs of course can be peeked through this and I can sort of interact with them properly, but this section on my desktop will always be left here. And if I were to make something full screen, you'll see it only takes up this much space. It's really annoying. If I were to make something windowed and say drag it out to the correct full screen size, it'd be about there. Even so, this is something you shouldn't have to do. Unfortunately, there's no other way around moving this display than some cheaty tricks. So I'll be showing you those now. Simply closing it and reopening it again opens it up in the correct space. Rather annoying. So what exactly can we do? Well, this little display over here goes to the main display on your PC. All we have to do is press start and open up the settings window with the settings icon. Head across to system and then click the display tab on the left. Then all we have to do is select the monitor that we'd like IQ to open on. I'll select, say, display number two. Then I'll scroll down into this section over here, multiple displays. All we have to do is make sure that this box over here, make this my main display, is checked. As you can see, it rearranged everything on my desktop, all the windows, etc., etc., and the little task tray down here in the bottom right of my start bar has vanished. It's now on my right screen. And of course, if I use my centering script, it puts it on the right display because it puts it to the center of the main display. So number two is now my main display. If I were to go ahead and show you my second display, which might be a bit difficult to capture. In fact, OBS seems very unhappy capturing my second monitor. Either way, I'll go ahead and change it back to my main display by selecting one and then clicking make this my main display. After doing that, Hypothetically, this is your right screen over here that you're currently seeing, or whatever screen you want to move it onto. Right click the icon and click show IQ space. Upon doing this, it'll open and readjust all of your windows as you expected. Let's say to the left of this monitor is my main center gaming display that I play everything on, screen number one, and you're currently viewing screen number two. At this point, if we open up a game, it'll open up on screen number two as it's still our default. All we have to do is select one, once again, scroll down and make sure that make this my main display is checked. Your screen will go black, everything will readjust and you'll notice that IQ space is now stuck to your right hand side screen where you expect it to be because that was the main display at the time of opening it up. So whenever you open up a game now with your main display set to the main display, everything will open up as you expect with IQ space taking up space on your second, third, etc. monitor. And that's exactly what we wanted. As for moving this in other ways, I'm not too sure exactly how this is set up or how it works, and I'm not even sure how it causes this whole weird thing with Windows to go on, where it books itself some screen space. It's really odd to me, even though I program, I have no idea how this is working. It'd be really interesting to learn to see if there's another way around it. So if you have another method of moving this to another screen or another way around it, make sure to let me know as I'm very curious. But anyway, that's about it for this quick video. Hopefully you found something useful in this niche topic and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.